control language that uh, allow us to use some IPMI commands inside the program okay so if you want to use some IBMI system commands that we use on this command line inside a program then to uh, to achieve this we, we can create the CL program so now what is CL program CL program is a collection of uh, programs which contains some CL uh, statement and that statement instruct uh, like through those statement we can instruct like from where the program have to take the input and how to process that uh, data and how to return the output from that process data okay so this is cl now we will see how to create the cl program and how to print the uh, text on the screen so for that i have here created one program uh, for hello world for printing the hello world on the screen but before we discuss that let me tell you the exact step through which we can create the new cl program so for that you have to press f6 on your keyboard now in source member you have to give your member name let's say i want to create it with test name and in the source type you can pass clle okay and in description this is optional field you can put any description test program for cl after giving these information you can hit enter so as soon as you hit enter it will show you the edit screen where you can uh, write your source code right so in this space you can uh, write the code as we do in our rpg program okay and once you're you're done with your editing you can directly write a uh, file here and on seu line to save and exit so you can see that now text uh, program is prepared and the type of this program is CLLE and here we can see the description of the program okay so for now we are not going to use this program so I'm deleting it and I have already created one program so we will discuss on that like how to create the hello world program so here this is the program print text I will take this program in edit mode so this is the program so before we discuss about the command let me tell you the way through which we can comment the line in cl program so it is very easy you have to just put forward slash then asterisk then you can write your comment let's say i want to write comment and after that just write asterisk and slash again so this line will be considered as a comment so in this way you can put comment in your cl program so here you can see that from line number one to line number uh, eight i have a specified few comment line just for the description of this program here i've given the program session description date right so in this way you can write the comment in cl program now on line number eight i'm using i'm adding one more comment which is command to display text so on line number 10 we are using that command which is used to display the text on screen now we will discuss on this command so to use this command you have to simply write snd pgm msg okay. after that you can press f4 so once you okay, correct like it should be snd pgm msg then press f4 so it will take you to the this screen where we can see send program message and here in this message field you can write your a message which you want to display let's say test okay and hit enter there are other option also but we will uh, keep as it is because if in this session we are going to uh, see only the simple way through which we can print the output on the screen so just hit enter after that it will be prepared like this and this is the uh, message that will be shown to the output screen okay in same way I'm deleting it because we will uh, see from line number 10 so on the same in the same way I have used this line SND PGM MSG to print the hello world on the screen okay so if I take F4 here so here in message field I have specified the hello world if you want to uh, learn more about this command then on this white text you can put your cursor and press F1 once you press F1, it will show you the description and all the information related to this command. So from here, you can learn about this command, why we use that, 
mainly for today we are using it just for printing the text on the screen but there are uh, other option also we can use with the, these commands so that you can learn by taking f1 now we will compile it this is the only thing that we are writing here only one command which is used to display the output so you can uh, compare it with the display the command in rpg -L. so to compile it just press 14 and compile it so my object was already there that's why i have deleted it and uh, recreated it so it is compiled now to call this program you can directly put c in opt field once you hit enter it will show you the output but here is at the bottom okay so using the send pgm msg it will uh, show the message at the bottom of the screen right on the same screen so if you want to call the program there is another way like you can directly write here call and your program name and once you hit enter it will call the same program okay but here you can observe it is not showing on the complete screen it's showing here on the bottom so how we can show the output on the main screen just for test purpose so let me take this again in edit mode and this time we will use another command which is snd usr msg then press f4 so it will take you to this screen and rest option will we will keep same we are just going to show on a big screen and if you want to learn about this command just place your cursor here and press f1 so it will show you the all information related to this command like what are the restrictions so you can do page down and it will show you all the information related to this command so this is mainly for uh, sending the command right so the send user message command is used by a program to send a message to message queue so what is message queue and how we can use this this we can uh, learn in upcoming sessions but for this session mainly we are discussing how to display the output on the screen or console screen so we have changed it now it is snd usr msg which is send user message we will compile it simply by taking option 14 this object is already created that's why i'm recompiling it so i'm taking y so once it is compiled we can call it by taking option c in opt field so once you press c it will show you this screen so here you can see that now the output is in different screen which is bigger than that it is not showing at the bottom but here you can also observe that it is asking for the reply okay so we are using send user message that's why it is showing this reply field okay this field is asking for a reply but we are not going to use it for now uh, for this purpose we are just here to display the output that's why we are using it okay so yeah this is the way through which we can display the output on the screen although cl program is mainly used for calling some other rpg program or to combine multiple program and if when we want to run the ibm system command then only we will utilize this CLLE program but just for the test purpose i have shown you two commands which you can use for just printing the hello world uh, on this output console so i hope everything is clear and uh, that's it for this session and the upcoming session we will learn few more things about cl so thank you for watching texture method